Hello everybody, how is your day going? For those who are following my channel for a while, you see that it's a little bit different angle. There's a reason for that. My camera broke down and it's in repair shop and I will have to wait for at least three weeks until I get it back, which is horrible. And I have this GoPro as my only and primary camera right now and I don't want to leave you hanging dry without tutorials in the meantime. So we're gonna make the best out of this one and then you can see how GoPro works indoors. Okay, so let's start. In this video, I will show you how to do something like this. So here is how we're gonna do it. First, we're gonna jump into Figma, make a button that's gonna be a variant. Also the same thing for this spinner. We're gonna prototype spinner and a button. So we would, you know, get this animation using interactive components, this feature that is still in beta, but soon enough it's gonna become public. And then in the end, I'm gonna show you the downfall of this new feature interactive components and how it failed to do very basic thing. So maybe Figma will see my video or something and, and repair that because it's super simple use case that everybody has. Without further ado, let's jump into Figma and make this button and spinner. Okay, here we are in Figma. So let's first start with a button. So I'm gonna put a rectangle and then some text. And then I'm gonna make auto layout. Put eight over here. If we have any icon, but we will not. Let's put 12 all around it. But then on the sides, maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna go slow in this one because I really want to everybody to understand what is happening over here. And then intermediate, sure, I like that. And for feel, how about purple button? Okay, let's do purple and then white. Nice, I love it. Then let's call it button button. And then we're gonna make component. And then next thing is a variant. Doop. Okay, uh, we can make a hover, so let's first define properties. Property 1, hmm, let's call it state. And then you need to drill in children and default is fine and then this one will be hover. And when it's hovered, let's say this thing will get a little bit darker. Yeah, this is fine, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Okay, we will add more a little bit later. Now it's time for the spinner. So let's put a frame. That's 24 by 24. Let's call it spinner. And then let's put oval. If you didn't know, there is like an arc tool in Figma, this is like super handy. And then ratio, so you can do this or actually push it and make like a little arc. I will say 75 over here and then corner smoothing. What is this? No, this is not that setting. Um, no, this is not the setting. Jesus. Okay, so I checked, it's actually this one, but it's not like perfect. But we will just stick with it, because it's good enough. Okay, and we will put white color, and then no fill, and then we're gonna say that it's a component. Okay, now let's make more variations of this. Somebody's screaming outside. Hoppala. More. What did I do wrong? Uh -huh. Dude. 
YouTube. I really hope this uh, screaming children sounds don't like uh, come to this microphone because it's really annoying. And let's call this uh, bottom right. Bottom left. Uh, top left naming here is not that important but I just like to be neat and then so I just want to emphasize you don't twist this frame if you select this ellipse one or whatever you call it you see you have some options over here well you only change rotation you see how in second one I have different angle over here so you only change that in order to animate this spinning, otherwise it will not work. Uh, let's connect all the dots. So after delay, linear, one, two. I want to be like smooth and quick, so I'm making like one millisecond over here, that's fine. After delay, one, great. And the last one will lead to first one, so we have looping. Okay, now let's make a little frame. Let's paint it. Let's paint it purple because it's pretty. And let's put this in the middle. And now let's run it to see how it works. Mm -hmm. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There! Now we have a spinner. It's beautiful! And how to, how to make a um, spinner in a button? Okay, no problem. So let's make another variant of this one. Let's choose this. Actually, maybe this darker color might work on this one. And now I will delete the title and put this spinner in. I will Well, I will keep this frame. I will just make it white. Um and uh, yeah, it seems that this is about it. Is this higher? Height is 43? 48? Okay. Now it's in the middle. Great. Lovely. 43, 43. And now what I'm gonna do is, this is on hover, but then on hover I want it to start spinning on click, so I'm gonna go to prototype. I'm gonna drag this pointer over here on click, change to stay entry, smart animate linear. Yes, sure, these options are irrelevant for this tutorial. Let's just name this a little bit nicer. This is hover and this is spinning spinner. Spinner. Okay gonna drag this button over here. By dragging I effectively made an instance of a component, basically a clone. And well let's let's run, in, run it again and see what happens. So hover is not working, clicking is not working, let's reset. Nothing is working, great, let's debug. Oh, okay, so this connection got lost. Cool. Or maybe I didn't... No, I didn't do it, right? Ah, oh, you didn't remind me. While hovering, change to hover, blah, blah, blah. And, um, yeah, let's see how that works. Let's reset. Cool. Ah, there we go. So this is how we made this button that has hover state and then spinner. Well, the problem is, if I reset this um, prototype, okay, this is nice, and then I click and then look how it shrinks. Boom. Well, in most cases, you don't want button to shrink, right? And this is where interactive components failed me. Let's go back. Okay, so how to retain the size of a button? Let's pretend that This button actually has a little bit more context inside, like a different title actually. And if we go here, you see how it redacts. So how to retain, right? Well, if you know a little something about um, overrides, naming and um, how actually Figma tries to make these animations, well, if we 
for example, put title here. I think it's best just to show you instead of um, try to describe with words when we have Figma here. Okay, I will put this in auto layout as well. Just gonna put 16 and then I'm gonna drag it over here. Now it's neat and nice, just how I love it. Okay, so if I go back long names, see how it persists? And this is important over here. So if you use a layer name or for example in this case text the layer name is called title and this one is called title and this one is called title so on every prototyping um, state or every variant where you reuse the same layer name it will keep whatever you put in there so if I put something else except title like a long name it will just retain this name throughout every variant every uh, interactive prototype that said uh, we don't want to have like spinner in extension because then it expands this is also not something you really want you want it to stay exactly the same as whatever content is like a long name or a button or submit or whatever you might have here so a hack that I thought that I figured out I will put this in the same color as background and then I'm gonna group these two things and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position this in the middle okay so let's see what happens when we try to prototype okay so we have a good step forward the size of a button persisted it's actually the size we want and this is actually the downfall of interactive components so if i would go into a group it says fixed width hits fixed white uh, width fixed width fixed height jeans <laughs> and then it can be fill container okay um, uh, width set fixed so automatically it changes something in children of this group one Let's go again, click, uh, now it's all broken, it doesn't work at all. Okay, so we can not put uh, fixed width if you go back, I mean it's just broken now. Because dynamically Figma changed certain settings inside this group. So you can't change here. To something else except fixed okay this is fine right title fixed with it okay sure fill container fill container hmm do you want that i'm not so sure uh i wanted to for example yes fill container but maybe also hack contents anyway I'm, I'm missing options over here and if i put a frame it's not really working because I also have fill container and then let's restart it just redacts to previous uh, not the previous size but to a size of a spinner okay let's go back it's not that uh, and it's important to have this title over here because this title actually contains the width of a text that you put in this button over here like in this example a long name so how can we do this? There are literally, literally no options that might help me to retain the size. So should I go back to group? Okay, let's go back, restart. Now it's just weird, it's, it's broken. If I put it on fixed width, the spinner, Hot contents, um, hot contents, sure. No, so whatever option you change, you might end up with retaining the perfect size, 
but then this spinner just stays in the middle it doesn't want to go anywhere like you can't position it in the middle I tried with like different options over here even if I put this nothing changes it just stays on the left side okay I think I made my point here so to recap we learned how to make a button with a couple of variants and then we learned how to make a spinner and then we made another variant inside of a button with that spinner so now you can actually make animated buttons with something spinning uh, unfortunately if you want to have the you know retain the size of a button from your initial state and have a spinner in the middle uh, I guess it's not gonna happen for now it's impossible I tried every every option Figma has and it just didn't, didn't work but this was anyways useful at least you can use spinner for something else or anything that you know going round you can use this tutorial for that anyway I really hope you like this tutorial don't forget click that subscribe especially now to support me when I don't have my camera it's in a repair shop and they might charge me oh my god I really need those subscribes and those likes to you know keep my spirits high it really hurts not to have your favorite camera and uh, also if you have any questions please use comments let's chat and until next time Jowski